are also like other jungle creeps around there. And in the early stages, this is like mm -hmm. a like a heat map where the jungler should be focusing on. Now to to add to, add yeah. to what you just said about early, about turrets and uh, and whatnot, Flow G they have the they have heroes that are very strong into contending the opponent's jungle creeps and turrets. So for example, just imagine Flow G pushing top lane. They will now have access to the mm -hmm. nearby jungle creeps there, and that also meant that Fantasma that would have a bad time for that one. So that's all I'm trying to say. I hope yeah. that I didn't nerd out so badly with that one. <laughs> No, that's fine. Dude, I'm pretty sure at this point, everyone knows how much of a big geek you are for MLBB. <laughs> you are one of the best analysts that we know, oh, so man. it's totally <laughs> fine. Makes sense. We're already here in game number one, by the way, Flo G and Fantasma Kalidad, yep. starting things off slow. Of course, you want to allow your jungler to instantly get the kills on the five creeps. You see here, you mentioned it just now, Jamon actually taking away the crammer. From Jungkook, I don't, I'm not even sure if he has the upgraded retribution. He doesn't, not just yet, but he was able to use it to get that crab coin. JM1 and D Gaming putting a lot of pressure on the bottom side jungle. You know they're in mid. Sarah is trying to hold down that lane with a lot, with a heavy mid rotation coming in from Flow G. We're 20 seconds away until the first turtle, and also a few seconds away from the from the ultimate of this Hardy, which is very crucial at this point. Uh, am, am I mm -hmm. seeing this correctly? Didn't have his own orange buff? Yeah, uh, he wasn't or, able to oh. get it, exactly. Uh, I think it was stolen away uh, by Fantasma Kalidad. I think they went for an early game invade. What? And yeah, definitely this first turtle. If they do this right, they don't have to worry about the Harley at all, who's still at the purple side. And let's see full flow G. Will, will they try to contest? That's gonna be a toss up to boss marks. There it goes, a blazing duet right away. That's gonna be a lot of damage dealt on a member of Flow G. That's first blood going to D Gaming for the Barris. Takes out Boss Mars. Fantasma Kalidad are gonna be able to get the turtle. Goes to the hands of the Claude. Meanwhile, Bombay TV with a knockback with a knockout punch. But look at that. Fantasma still pushing forward. Dansky forced to use the ultimate to get on out of there. And that is gonna be an early good early start for Fantasma Kalidad. Oh, it's, this is perfect for Fantasma Kalidad as they are able to stop Jungkook from getting his own level 4, the Deadly Magic, before the turtle well, spawned. Mm -hmm. That meant that Jungkook, you saw him, he can't even get into the turtle area. He tried for the turtle steal, but because of the fact he's just level 3 and uh, the Claude was already level 4 at that moment, Retribution mm -hmm. favored the Claude. And not only that, Fantasma Kalidad is able to just get the first blood and eventually stop Flow G from getting this early game ramp up that they are needing. In Red fact, Fantasma Kalidad is leading by, what, 1,400 gold in the first 3 minutes of mm -hmm. the game. Them being the late game um, oriented lineup, this is massive for them. This massive, this lead is massive. Yeah. Look at that. J1 actually using the ejector to bring back <laughs> the, the the little wagon Kinda, just so that yeah. they don't get the gold or the XP there. Look at little things like that. Man, yeah. you can see how much they, how badly they want to win in the creator games. Let's see if there's going to be a big fight here. There's going to be four-man rotation. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to be the ultimate of the Matilda connected. Landing on the X board. That's another kill going to Fantasma Kalidad. Three kills all in all. And that has to be one of the sharpest initiations I've seen in recent memory. Oh my goodness. Let's go into the highlight reel for sure. I mean... We're gonna be prepping up a lot of uh, like top five plays here at Creator Games, or you know, top three plays of the game. But that will go to the highlight reel for sure. An amazing way to start the fight. Like you said, it's a spectacular initiation coming out from the from the Matilda and the Alice. Absolutely clean. And look at that, Flo G. Seeing that Jungkook has been having a lot of difficulty with the buffs, actually committing. The ultimate of the Eve to make sure they could get the purple, but now they're gonna try to get the V turtle. Here comes Tech Z. Look at that, Alice. Handle three on one. No problem at all. Blazing duet committed there in the mid lane, and he's gonna back off there. Boss Mars goes down. Fantasma Kalidad playing absolutely fantastic right now. Loji doing their absolute best to hold on, but Tang Z is not gonna stop. This Alice keeps going. Bombay able to land the kill there, but let's see if Tang Z will go forward. He does! Flowing blood under tower. Nope, he's not gonna be able to take down Bombay TV. 
But man, Fantasma Kalidad has been fantastic so far. Oh, definitely. They're, they're even able to give Tang or Tang Z a purple buff. While they what that while that happens, I honestly thought that he will try to jump and dive for that for the kill onto the Paquito. But seeing as he only had like maybe to like ten percent of his mana back, um, he will not be overly aggressive. And again, it's it's not even necessary at this point. Look at the amount of lead that they have right now in just five minutes. Yeah, the gaming eating up a lot of damage right now. Finally, Floji is going to be able to take down that barrier. But here comes the circling eagle coming in from Sarah. But that's Makalidad. The knockoff is going to help them. But Floji are fighting back. They are not out of this just yet. They take down Sarah and the gaming. Jamon stays alive, so there's a chance he'll be able to do, hold down that bottom third. Meanwhile, Dansky up top trying to hold on. He'll be able to take out the Claude before he goes down, but he got taken out eventually. The real world manipulation committed there by Seika. Jmon holding on for dear life. Immobilized. One more damage away, and he gets taken out. Floji. They are fighting back. They're trying to get wins elsewhere, and so far, that early 6 to 7k gold lead has now been brought down to 3k so it's a little bit more doable now for Floji. yeah oh definitely totally out of script for Fantasma Kalidad we were praising how good they were when it comes to their decisions and how they are able to initiate but in the last set of fights like Claude was overextending up top Joy went after Fantasma Kalidad already took out one was already taken out but again yeah. here comes another big clash that's going to be the last insanity. Dansky using the flicker, trying to reach up Atta, but Atta was just outside the range of it. He's going to be paying the price. That's going to be the export going down. That's going to be another kill for Fantasma Kalidad. Shut down there and a double kill by D Gaming. Tank Z there in the mid lane to stop the E from helping contest. I don't think at this point, though, Floji will be able to. Jungkook just going to try to get away. He will be fine, but Fantasma Kalidad are able to get another win back out of that. Oh. Now they want to push. I think they will try to just corral Junko Ken here. And I think that it's already checkmate. He's done. Yeah, Bombay going in there trying to help. Let's see. He might get punished here. Circling Eagle onto the Paquito. That's going to be the toss. Everything. They use everything to take that Paquito down. But hell, it's a big prize at this point because you can push out the mid lane tower or go for the turtle here. If you're Fantasma Kalida, they decide to go for the turtle. Oh, look at that. This is one of the funniest and at the same time most broken stuff that I've seen even in the professional play. Like Matilda and Barrett's put together in a team that Dash coming out from the Matilda just breaks out like a big massive dinosaur. And that's really scary mm -hmm. because the only thing that's stopping Barrett's from being like the most um, broken hero is mobility. Yeah. And then with the speed provided by Matilda, it's a match made in heaven. Tank Z, though, might be seeing Nightmare before his eyes. He's going to be popping the Winter Truncher to try and hold on, but Fantasma Kalidad will not be able to get there in time to save him. But they are still in a very comfortable position here. Immortality already uh, built here by Flo G's x board played by Dansky TV. And you can see here the item disparity. Definitely favoring Fantasma Kalidad right now with the Alice already having the Winter Trench and Calamity Reaper and the Clock of Destiny as well. I think that's enough of a sign to show that, yeah, Fantasma Kalidad is having a great game so far. Oh, definitely. Because uh, not only that, Fluchi, what the, the real strength of their composition is in the early stages. Uh, most ideally, you want to make sure that you have your Paquito and your Expert online when Jungkook is already dominating. So um, Jungkook should have like a, like a mile lead over Phantasma, but that didn't happen. Yeah, Boss Marvs gets spotted out there by Phantasma Kalda. Jayamon with the pickoff there. Bombay TV, Jungkook, and Seika. They are going to be playing it safe. Trying to find a better position for this. That's going to be the Blazing Duet committed there by Atab. And almost so close taking out Seika and Jungkook. And with this crazy front line of the Alice, the Jawhead that isn't even in POIT. He's using Concussive Blast. The Barret. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult for Floji to find a good positioning in a fight because they just keep getting run over. Thank you, though. Oh. Wait, I think Jimon might be trouble. Or maybe not because of that. 
Oh the man, Guiding Wind is just a crazy hero. Guiding Wind is just like a yeah. like a concept that's borderline broken. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but yeah going back for that's my that is gonna be surely able to take this lord. Now talking about the Barats, uh, we were mentioning how strong he is, and you saw in that bottom lane earlier on when mm -hmm. uh, Flo G had to put like four heroes, it still took a lot of time before taking him down. Going for the uh, concussive blast not only amps up his stackiness, but also allows him to deal more damage. So the big problem for Flo G is that they don't really have a hero that's straight up going to deal with the Barrett's. I always felt that Exborg, even uh, during MPL Season 6, was not the answer to the Barrett's. Although there's percent-based damage, there's true damage, whatnot, you mm -hmm. don't have like the actual burst to deal against the Barrett's. And Barrett's will just melt the Firaga armor. So there's really not, yeah. a, not a hero that can deal with the Barrett's right now from Floji. True. Speaking of Melted, that's gonna be a lot of damage onto Tang Z, but he's holding on. Pops the Winter Dredge, that's Boss Mars, Jungkook, Bombay, gone, taken out of the map, and Fantasma Kalitana are gonna be on their way to winning this game number one. Four down, end the game with a double kill. That is a win for Fantasma Kalidad here in game number one, D Gaming Ghost Wrecker. Jayo, Sarah, and Tang. Wow. <laughs> what oh. an insane start to the creator game. What? An insane start and he, he I mean they even spent